At a press conference today, a Toronto detective said the city has never seen a case like this before. I'm Brandon Rowe at the University of Toronto, and Bruce MacArthur is now facing three more charges of first-degree murder. Now, I'm joined now by Ju Young Lee, a professor at the University of Toronto. Uh, professor Lee, you uh, specialize in serial murders and methods and motivations. Uh, for Toronto Police, what uh, challenges are they facing? Um, they face a number of challenges. One of the biggest challenges now is going to be processing the evidence and making sure that they can build a strong enough case um, if this is indeed the person who is responsible for these murders. Uh, so some of the challenges they may face are um, you know, how to process potential DNA evidence, which has become an increasingly contentious thing in a lot of murder cases about uh, the mismanaging of that evidence. Um, another challenge that they're going to face is getting uh, sifting through the number of different kinds of accounts that they'll get from family members, friends, from community members, eyewitnesses, uh, friends of the deceased. It sounds like it's a huge task for, uh, for Toronto Police. Yeah, I mean, serial homicide investigations are, are, are often not the expertise of local police, and one of the reasons for that is that they are so rare. What it requires is often lots of different people coming together from a uh, police department or multiple precincts collaborating and sharing information, particularly if uh, victims are found in, in different locations. So sometimes this means that police departments have to collaborate and work together, share information, and that also becomes a challenge. Uh, as well. Thank you very much, Professor Lee. Again, that's Professor Ju Young Lee from the University of Toronto.